is jealous for me Love's like a hurricane I am a tree Bending beneath The weight of his wind and mercy When all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory. Now I realize just how beautiful you are and how great your affections are for me. No, how he loves us so. Oh, how he loves us. So, and know how he loves us so. Oh, how he loves us, how he loves us so.
on to him this morning. His love for us, let him know how much you love him. In your own words.
don't even know that I've always been there for you. I've always been there. You don't even know, but I've seen every tear and I've seen every heartbreak, every disappointment. I've always been there. I never leave your side I never leave your side In the darkest of darkness I'm there, I'm there I never leave your side I've always been there with you I've always been there with you don't you know, don't you know how much I love you? Don't you know what I would do for you? Cause I've already done it. Yes, I've already done it. I sent you my son. I sent you my son. Oh done so much for you open your eyes won't you see won't you see how much love I have for you I'm singing over you my child oh how I love you so how I love you so oh won't you open up your heart to me your mind to me I've always been there and I'm never ever 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 gonna leave your side I'm never gonna leave your side I'm never gonna leave you like so many people have left you I'm never gonna leave you come to me come to me won't you come to me come to me oh won't you come to me come to me just want to wipe all your tears away oh how I love you oh how So won't you just come to me, come to me, come to me, I love you.
We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you for your love, for your love. Come on, let's just give back to him just for a minute. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, for your love, for your love. One more time. Thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, for your love. Just while the Lord, just while the Lord has our attention, Grant is going to be leaving us. Grant's going to Bible college. This will be his last Sunday with us. And so we want to send him off correctly. So just ask the eldership to just pray for him, lead him. Give him favor. We see God's hand on his life. From the moment I met the boy at five years old, God's hand is on his life. It's so obvious. So you can just agree with him if you would, please. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Lord, for your love. Bible College.
Good. I haven't, uh, I haven't looked at the statistics in a few years. Go ahead and have a seat. I haven't looked at the statistics in a few years, but Grant wants to go to college to be a pastor. Now that's just crazy. That's just crazy stuff. There was, a, there was a time not too many years ago that statistically most pastors, whether they're seniors, associates, youth workers, and that's where Grant wants to start as a youth pastor, they don't last five years in the ministry. They don't last five years. Because life and the church just has a way of chewing up pastors and spitting them out. So he needs our prayers. Because God, God's hand is on his life. And there's an anointing and a call on his life. And we want to see him run whatever race Jesus has established for him with all of his heart. Yeah. The thing, the thing that makes it doable and the thing that makes it workable is when you just stay very close to Jesus, young man. Because his reputation's at stake. All the things he's whispered in your ear, all the things he spoke to your heart, that's his job. And God's not a man that he should lie Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. What he said to you, he'll do. And what he's spoken to you, he'll make good. You stay close to him. Amen? So while Grant's sitting here and I have somebody to lean on, um, there was a moment in our worship service, if somebody could do something with the light, son, if you would please, if there was, there was a moment when in the midst of worship that Courtney began to just sing. And I saw a few, of a, a few of you kind of glancing on the screen and I could see the look in your face. Those words ain't up there. But see, the Bible says this. You can see it in Romans 12. You can find it in 1 Corinthians 12. You can see it in Ephesians chapter 4. In Romans 12, it's what we call the motivational gifts given by the Father. They are gifts given by God the Father. They are to motivate. They are to stir. They are to encourage the body of Christ. Any gift that God gives is for the bettering, of the betterment, and the strengthening, the edifying of the body of Christ. Any gift. Whatever your gift is. Amen? In 1 Corinthians 12, the Bible talks about gifts of the Holy Spirit. Nine, and one of those is prophecy. Out of that prophetic gift, there is the word of knowledge. That comes under the prophetic he heading. Word of wisdom. That comes under the prophetic covering and discernment. And then there is what we call the office gifts. Gifts by the Lord Jesus himself in Ephesians chapter 4. The prophetic looks different based on the gift from person to person. The prophetic looks different. We've had people up here preaching the word of God and it's been prophetic because it's what the Lord's saying. We've had our friend Jay come in and give words of knowledge. It's prophetic. That's what the Lord's saying. But every once in a while, God raises up somebody crazy and they just begin to sing prophetically. They have this, this they've just kind of tapped into the heart. Why are you still sitting here? You know we're, we're on camera. You know that, right? <laughs> and we, listen, we pray that way. Matter of fact, it was one of the last things that we prayed this morning. Lord, we want to hear what heaven is saying over the city this morning. Isn't that right, those of you that were in prayer? We want to hear what your heart is for the city. And when God starts singing over us and declaring through song, I've never left you. You have no idea how much I love you. I am by your side no matter what. In the darkest of darkness, I'm there. Amen? If God is declaring it and we are hearing it and releasing it, it's prophetic prophecy, we've turned this into some crazy thing. We think it's some old guy running around in the wilderness half naked with some big long finger. That's not prophecy. Prophecy is being able to hear the Lord and just declare what he's saying. That's prophecy. You can be prophetic sitting over coffee with people. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. You can be prophetic in your prayers. You ever, you ever start praying for somebody, you don't have a clue what's going on, but all of a sudden something kind of gets a hold of you and turns your prayer and you know that God is, that's prophetic. It doesn't mean you're a prophet. It means you're being prophetic. 
We want that. We want to be prophetic. We want to hear the Lord. We want to hear what he's saying. So when that kind of thing happens during worship, understand we're praying for that. And, and you can say, I ain't praying for that. It's okay. It's, you'll get there. You'll get, you listen, you want to hear what heaven is saying over Longview, Washington. Well, can't God just do that? Can't somebody just walk up and say it? Yeah, that's just not the way God chose to do it today. You do know God is smarter than us, right? You do know, you do know that. That's just the way God chose to do it today. Amen? So I just sat there and soaked it up in tears, thanking the Lord for his faithfulness, for his goodness, for his unwavering love. Amen? Are we good?